Welcome to the FM brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com and the World Wide Web. Providing you wrestling news, reviews, rumors, insight you've grown accustomed to. You're watching the flagship FN True Wrestling and my name is JC Styles and I am back with the WWE Raw pay-per-view review for No Mercy. Now, No Mercy just went off the air moments ago and I have to say I really enjoyed this pay-per-view. Guys, I'm not going to bore you with the nitty gritties. So I'm going to get right into it. Elias Samson in the pre-show picked up the win over Apollo Crews. I really like this match. Uh, I'm really liking Elias Samson. Uh, every time he uh, comes out, I'm like, who wants to walk with Elias? I'm definitely getting one of his uh, walk with Elias shirts. I really can't wait uh, to get one of those. Um, speaking of getting stuff, I will be doing a unboxing this week on this channel and on uh F and True Entertainment, so make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for that. Also, with another surprise later this week. So, I'm really hoping that they do something with Elias. Uh, I think he can be a good Intercontinental Champion, and I'm really hoping that they really push him because I really enjoy him, and I think I really, I really enjoyed him in NXT as well, and I really think that he can be a top contender, and that's what they need right now. Um, so, I really hope uh, the best for his uh, character and his career with the WWE. The Miz retained against Jason Jordan, and that was not a shocker. I am already tired of this whole Jason Jordan, Kurt Angle storyline. Um, I don't know if it's uh, this whole situation is a work because uh, Kurt Angle, uh, Jason Jordan, is Kurt Angle's illegitimate uh, child, and then uh, uh, Maurice is now pregnant. And I don't know if this is just to add fuel to the fire or not. But, uh, I don't know, they need to put Jason Jordan back with uh, Chad Gable. And the reason why I say that is because the fact of the matter is this. Jason Jordan was a gem with American Alpha, and post-American Alpha, he is crap. Uh, I'm not taking anything away from the guy, uh, you know, in-ring ability-wise. But character-wise, he was a lot more enjoyable with American Alpha. Um, and the fans are already turning on him. You know, no one's cheering for him. He doesn't really get a huge pop uh, when he comes out. He's not really over. So, uh, I'm not going to spend too much time on that. I'm really liking The Miz right now, especially with him trying to push for the Intercontinental Championship to be more prestigious the way it used to be. Um, I was telling uh, James over at We Are Pro Wrestling that that title was so prestigious back in the day that if you could not be world champion, you were Intercontinental Champion. And just look at some of the greats that held that title to go on to win the big gold titles like the world title, the WWE Championship, like Shawn Michaels, Ultimate Warrior, Hogan. No, I'm sorry, Hogan never won it. Uh, Ultimate Warrior, uh, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Triple H, Stone Cold, The Rock, you know, and, 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 and Randy Macho Man Savage, and just uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, you know, so many guys out there who won the Intercontinental Championship and uh, really skyrocketed their career. Some some of the best legends never even won the, ma the major titles. Guys like uh, like Mr. Perfect, Owen Hart, you know, you know, got some of these guys who were Intercontinental Champion and, and never got the major title. Finn Balor defeated Bray Wyatt. I actually enjoyed this match. I really like this feud. I wish that they would have had Demon King versus uh, Bray Wyatt again. Um, just because the whole mind games and the, the creepiness of the two characters. Uh, but Finn Balor did a, a tremendous job tonight. And so did Bray Wyatt. I really enjoyed this match. I think this is one of the top three matches of the night. Rollins and Ambrose retained over the bar. Sheamus and Cesaro. Uh... At one point in this match, uh, Cesaro was slingshotted into the ring post and knocked out some of his front teeth. Uh, he was bleeding all over the place, and that was actually a pretty uh, sick set, uh, spot. Um, I really hope that you know uh, he gets it fixed and it's nothing serious, but he got his teeth knocked out. And I thought that that made for the match, made even some more storytelling. Um... I also want to apologize for my throat and my nose. I'm actually uh, in the process of shaking the cold. Uh, you had Alexa Bliss retaining the Women's Championship over Nia Jax, Bailey, Emma, and Sasha. Another great match. I'm really disappointed that they again um, 
really gave Nia the crap end of the stick. Uh, there was one part where they power bombed her off the apron to the outside and looked like she was dead. And then she got back in the ring with a vengeance and she started cleaning house. And then uh, she went uh, and went for like one of those little shoulder tackles into the the into the corner and she went through the the pat the, the the hole and hit the sh her shoulder on the uh, on the post and that was the end of it. But I'm really hoping that they uh, you know do something with this because we all know now uh, the next Raw pay per view is going to be uh, October 22nd, which is TLC, and uh, Asuka is going to be debuting on that. So we're, I'm assuming that we're going to see Alexa versus Asuka for the women's championship. Roman versus John Cena was probably the mat the most looked forward to match of the night. Uh, Roman Reigns did pick up the win. John Cena hit not only, I think John Cena hit four AAs. Uh, he hit three normal AAs and then one off the second rope and still could not win. Uh, at one point, um, Roman speared Cena into the announcer's table and it looked like, through the announcer's table, and it looked like he na landed on his neck awkwardly. And I'm hoping that he's okay. Um, but the one night that I decided to cheer for Cena and he loses, I wanted to reach to the screen and just go and smack him. Um... The way this match ended and post-match, Cena was taking off his arm man and giving it to some of the fans. And I have to say that I think this is uh, uh, John Cena's way of saying you know goodbye for a brief period of time. I know that he's going to be going and doing some uh, promotional work for movies. Uh, there's rumors that he's going to be in another trans or the next Transformers movie, I believe. Uh, maybe he's just taking some time off because he's going to be getting married uh, with Nikki. So, see what happens. Uh, Enzo defeating Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. I love Enzo to death. Uh, Cruiserweight Champion, no. I, material, no. Um, and he was the only one to actually successfully win a title tonight. Um, everyone else retained. I'm not going to go too far into that. Lesnar versus Strowman had such a huge buildup. Uh, going into SummerSlam and going post SummerSlam and going into this, and it only took one F5 to put Strowman down. Um, Strowman completely manhandled the beast, um, power slams, throwing him around, choke slams, everything. And uh, Lesnar hit him with a couple of Germans and it just kept coming back and back and back. And just one F5. That really, to me, made Strowman look weak. I honestly think that that, uh, I honestly think that that made Strowman look weak because he could have kicked out of that one and maybe got hit with a second one. Uh, but guys, let me know what you thought of the pay-per-view if you liked it. I want to say this pay-per-view was maybe a 6 out of 10, maybe 7 out of 10. Um, leave your comments in the comment box below. Don't forget to click the notification bell and subscribe for more content. I'm going to be coming back with you to you this week with a raw review. I'm also going to be coming to you with an unboxing not only on this channel but on FTE, on F and True Entertainment. Uh, I will also be doing some gameplay footage for F and True Wrestling for the WWE 2K18, and I'm going to be doing an unboxing of that on the 13th of October. So stay tuned for that as well. So guys, leave your comments in the comment box below. And like always, have a great night.